Hi, this is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World. I've decided to dedicate this new series to listening because listening is fundamental to learning a language. Uh, babies listen for about a year, a year and a half before speaking. And that's what uh, a language learner needs to do. Listen and understand. The more you listen, the more you understand, the better you'll be able to speak. Now, I've uh, traveled a lot around the world. I love traveling because uh, I like getting to know the people, getting to know people's customs. Um, I'm less interested in the sights and more interested in living with the people. In fact, I usually don't travel on an air-conditioned bus, but I usually go in, um, in public transport with the locals, eat in local restaurants, and get a feel for the place. Obviously, knowing languages helps. You may not know the local language, but the more languages you know, the easier it is to communicate with people. Therefore, I'd like to now tell you some anecdotes about this, and um, then there will be five questions. So listen carefully, because I'd like you to answer the five questions below uh, in the comments box and see if you manage to understand the main points in this uh, anecdote. So this episode uh, is uh, when I was in India, in Kashmir. The town is called Srinagar and it's particularly famous for its houseboats, luxurious houseboats with chandeliers and beautifully carved wooden furniture, beds, uh, tables. The, the, these um, houseboats are really uh, houses, but on the water. They're very, very beautiful. Now, I had a rather modest budget, so I actually stayed in a smaller houseboat, but there were beautiful carpets locally made and wonderfully carved furniture. We had our own bathroom, and it was really pleasant. Uh, now, one night, I was relaxing on my bed, just listening to the sounds of the ropes hitting the mast, ting, ting. It was a slightly rattling sound. And all of a sudden, I realized, hey, wait a minute, there is no mast on this boat. So what can it be? So I went and I looked under the beds, and no, there was nothing. And then I found under the armchair an enormous cage. This cage had an enormous rat in it. Oh, absolutely disgusting. And the rat was scratching on the bars to get out. So I went to the owner and I explained what I'd found. And he said, oh, that rat has been running around the boat for days. I'm so glad you found it. I decided to put a cage in your room just in case it entered. Now, then he took the cage, he took it out, and uh, I felt rather uneasy uh, knowing that there might be other rats around the boat. But what was worse was when I discovered the next day that he had crossed the lake with the um, rat and had set it free. Um, it was probably because in those cultures they have a lot of respect for these animals, even if they are rats. But it did make me feel very uneasy knowing that this rat could swim back and get back on our boat. So, um, yeah. That was a rather unusual thing. Okay, and this is the anecdote. Now, I'd like you to answer five questions. Question number one. Where did this story take place? Where? Where did this story take place? Question number two. Why is this town famous? Why is it famous? Question number three. What is the main characteristic of this kind of accommodation? What is the main character um, the main characteristic of this kind of accommodation? Question number four. What did I find under my bed? What was under my bed? Question number five. Why was I surprised about the owner's behaviour? Why was I surprised about the way the owner behaved? Okay, so if you can write the answers to these five questions in the comments box below, 
Um, then if you want a written version of this story, please, uh, and you can also have some updates on my new video course, please uh, press here and subscribe on my website and you'll get uh, a written version. Okay, then thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it, then I'll make some more uh, with other episodes from my journey. In fact, I usually call them tragicomic episodes from a globetrotter's diary. Okay, bye!